In this video, I want to show you how to use two very cool but easy to use shortcodes using Shortcodes Ultimate. That is the drop cap and also the headline. They're both very cool shortcodes and they really make our content look a lot nicer. So here we go. On this web page, people can insert their web design industry news as long as it has to do with websites and web design. As you can see, I already have a short code here from Contact Form 7, which is a form they can fill out. But I want this part of it to look nicer, okay? I want to add a drop cap here, and I want to add a nice headline here. So what I'm going to do is, now right now the web page looks like this. I made it a little smaller here. So it has this headline here, and I can use HTML for H1, H2, but I'm not going to, because I want to do it with short codes. And here it says, we are. So, if I remove this W and I click Insert Shortcode, in the second column we have Drop Cap. And we have different styles. My favorite is Flat. I love Flat. But you have other options as well. The default, light and simple, and they're just all different designs. It's really cool. And you can make the Drop, the drop Cap any size you want. They start you out at a default of three, and you can go up to five or one, down to one. I like three. I keep it at that. And if I want to attach a CSS style to style it even further, that would be nice. In the content, I type in the letter that I want to use as my drop cap. And then I can click on Live Preview. So you'll see the preview. It looks like that. And if I change it here, I can still just change it. And dynamically, it changes to show you. Like this is a nice 3D circle. Here's simple, and it's just pretty simple. But we can do that with HTML. We don't need a simple, right? So I'm just going to basically, and default, by the way, I didn't show you that, is a black circle. I want a black square. I think they look nice. I'm going to click flat for a black square. And now, once I like the preview, I'm just going to click the blue button, insert shortcode. And here it is, and it inserts that. Now, I also want my headline to look like a nice headline. So I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to click Insert Shortcode, and right away, go to Heading. This one is a little harder to see because of the dimensions of this video. So I'm just going to tell you that the Insert Shortcode button is down here. Now, I can have different previews as well. There's only one, there's one default, and you can get more styles. And they give you a default size. Do you want to center it, make it left or right justified to keep it in the center? What's the margin going to be? What's your CSS class going to be if you're going to use it? And the content. So here I'm just going to paste in Submit Your News Feed and click Insert Shortcode, which you can't see the button, but in this video. Now I'm going to click Update. Once I click Update, I will preview it. So let's look at the live preview. Click Reload. Now this looks a lot nicer. Let me make this bigger for you. We have a nice drop cap here, and we have a nice headline here. Really cool. And that's how you use these two short codes. Thanks for watching.